Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. Now this tutorial is basically designed for, um, for Serif's photo pro products and so that would be Affinity Photo and their older product Photo Plus. But it, it will work in just about any photo editing program that can use layers and blending modes and it is about adding borders to images to um, bring out you know, a whole different type of image and basically you need either a black or white border or frame so before we carry on we need some borders or frames now, if you come to this website here, which is by Tech Radar, there are 50 free photo frames and borders for Photoshop. It was originally done by Digital Camera World back in 2010, but they are still downloadable and still free. I will add this address in the description and probably as a pop up um, on this video. So if we scroll down here, it tells you a bit more about them and there's a, this link here where you can click to download the free frames but just below that is some representation of the, f the 50 frames that are available to you so once you've clicked on this and downloaded them you will get a zip file like this which is the called photo radar 53 frames etc and once you have extracted the zip files you will have these 53 frames to use so once we've got our frames we'll go back to our picture you can use whichever frame you want but I've already loaded into Affinity Photo this one here, let me just unselect that um, when I've loaded it into Affinity Photo it was originally in the portrait mode but I just came to documents and rotated it by 90 degrees you can do it either clockwise or anti-clockwise, it doesn't matter so that I had it in the landscape format so then you just need to select all then edit copy come back to the image that you are going to add the border to and then edit paste now the frame will nine times out of ten be the wrong size for whatever image you're using you just be extremely lucky to get it the right size so if you come to the move tool you can then just resize it to fit your image like so now what we now need to do is have a blending mode now there are two blending modes that you need to use one for the black border and one for the white border now in the case of the black board, I believe it's screen, no, it must be multiply. Multiply Multiply will keep the black and hide the white so you can see the image below. If I come off of that and select this layer and um, invert it, so we now have a white border with a black inside the blending mode would need to be a screen so depending on the color of the border be it black or white you need a blending mode of screen or multiply so let me just put this back to that mode there and put it back to multiply 
so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this try and look like an, an older photograph so I will highlight the bottom image uh, layer I should say and then add the adjustment of recolor now you could try and find sepia by moving the sliders around but there is an option for a coarse sepia here so I'll just click on that close that so I have a ready-made sepia image and I can if I want just add a, a levels layer and I'm going to just darken that just a tad more so as you can see there I have these two adjustment layers in between the original background image and the higher frame image so that is how you could do that in affinity photo and it's going to be pretty much the same in photo plus I have my image here and I've opened up a different frame this one is um, number 33 I can't remember the number of the other one so what I would do is I will just rotate this clockwise by 90 degrees select all edit copy come back to my image edit paste as a new layer and size wise that's not too bad I'm probably I think I'm losing some of the image if I come to the um, deform tool there we go you can see that the original image is bigger so I can bring this in now so that fits better there we go so again once I've got that in position I can then change the blending mode to screen and then the original image will come through now it's been a little while since I used photo plus but I'm not certain there is a invert option I can't. I must admit, I can't remember. There, there is a there is a way of doing it, and I'm afraid I can't remember. But if you, this was a black border, you could um, use the multiply option, but it basically works the same. So then I could highlight the bottom layer, and then add colorize, and you don't have any presets with Photo Plus, but I could make it a more sepia image like that and leave it at that let me just come off of that for a second there we go so this is basically the same in photo plus as it is in affinity photo affinity photo is easier in the sense that you've got the invert option so if you have a black frame with a white inside you can swap it to have a white frame with a black inside a bit easier than you can in photo plus so hopefully this will inspire you to download the frames and give them all a try thank you for watching and goodbye